Hey everyone, it's Father Rich. This is my review and summary of the Ultimate Language Learning Guide by Nathaniel Drew and Johnny Harris. To provide a context for those who don't know, this is a four and a half hour video program on the website www.brightside.com that Nathaniel Drew and Johnny Harris, who are pretty much two popular YouTubers, present as their ultimate kind of hack for how you can learn a language as fast as possible. Rather than focus on rules or obscure vocab or situations you would never encounter to learn a language, they present learning language as an art in which you're trying to immerse yourself into a culture as fast as you can. As a result, Nathaniel and Johnny want to give you the quick and dirty skill set in order to start speaking the language as soon as possible so you can start to communicate to other people and begin to learn a new language and culture. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy a hamburger. The first thing they do, something that I love, is that they set up having the right psychological mindset in order to take on this enormous endeavor of learning a language. And they say that the first key thing is motivation. Motiv motivation, they say, is like fuel for the car. Say your car has a destination that you want to go to, and you have to get a clear insight on what is that destination? What is that dream picture of what it's going to look like if you have this language? Imagine living in the culture, being able to converse at a cafe, whatever that might be. And motivation is the fuel. So if you don't have that consistent source of motivation, then you're not gonna to get to your destination. So you need to continually tap into that sense of what is your motivation and how can you keep filling up the gas tank of motivation? The second thing that they do is they try to give you the right expectations in learning a language. And for myself to continue with the car and fuel analogy, you have to have somewhat of a roadmap of where you're trying to go and how you're gonna get there. And to know that if you're gonna take on this endeavor, there's gonna be a lot of windy roads that seem confusing at times and you gotta embrace that. There's also gonna be times where you take the wrong turn and you have to accept that. That learning a new language is a messy endeavor but you have to believe that it's worth it. And that's why you gotta keep going back to your motivation. The third thing they do is they try to present confidence as a key skill set in order to learn a language. And I love the idea, the image of being confident like a little child. You know, children have a sense of self-compassion that they're gonna mess up a lot of times, but they also have this reckless abandon that they're just gonna go fully in and try to express themselves even if they don't really know what they're gonna say, they're, they're not afraid to continually express themselves. And the fourth thing that they do is focus on positive association. And that means you gotta make the language learning process fun. As for myself, I've, I watched uh, Super Mario and Luca in Italian, and just to really in, start to enjoy the culture as well here, going to cafes, and I'm living in Perugia, Italy right now, and try to really find ways to have fun and have this sense of positive association as you learn your language. It's -a me, the Mario! And just to conclude the major psychological elements to learning a language, I love this quote that they finish with. The only thing that matters with language is you are able to express what you want to express and people receiving are able to understand. And that's somewhat of a great way to just continually remind yourself of what's really important as you learn this language. The next thing Nathaniel and Johnny do is they help you prioritize what you need to learn first. For myself, I look at this as the building blocks. You're trying to build a solid foundation because you have this image of a cathedral in mind. And so, okay, what are the building blocks? This is looking at, okay, what are the 100 most important verbs, 100 most important nouns, 100 the most important adjectives. And for yourself, you know, for me, what are the most important words from the Bible? What are the most important words uh, in the Mass? I need to create my own list. And so right now, as a result, I'm using Quizlet and Evernote as just ways to track all of the most important words for myself. And this takes time. But you start to create your own list and you find your own ways. You know, for, for Nathaniel, he writes them down and he, he writes the word down in English and in Italian and he covers up the word in Italian and then he has to say what it is in Italian. And then if he's mastered that, he crosses it out and there's a satisfaction for that. Johnny tried using um, apps, which I use, like Quizlet and also spaced repetition on cards. You need to find your own way in which you're gonna memorize the most important things as soon as possible. 
one of the things of a benefit about this program is that they provide a language startup kit, which is pretty much an Excel document that Johnny made in which you can actually input uh, the keywords for whatever language you're trying to learn and he provides this Excel sheet for you if you're looking for kind of some help and how to start out. But really there are dozens of great websites right now on Google in which you can type in top 100 most important words in any language and you'll be provided with many lists for that. As far as tools go, Johnny and Nathaniel provide 11 tools and I'm just going to summarize them really quickly right now for you so you get a sense of what they're trying to present. First is start talking. You know, learning a language is not memorizing words, but it's expressing yourself. And you need to start talking as soon as you can. And so what that means is trying to find safe places where you can talk, whether that's getting a teacher on italki or a really good and compassionate friend who knows what the journey is like in learning a language and you can set up times where you can express yourself to them or being an actor and creating dialogues uh, in your room as though you were talking to someone and finding whatever ways you can, whether that's through some apps as well that provide those opportunities, just ways to start talking. Start to make up your own sentences as well. Introduce yourself um, and, and start to create these narratives in which you can get comfortable in building sentences. So that's something I'm doing. As soon as I memorize a word, I start to build a, a sentence off of that, and then I start to create a dialogue. And this takes work but it's worth it because I can soon just start to express myself in conversations with people. Uh, can we get some salami and- Brian, Brian, let me handle this. Uh, scusi. Another tool that I enjoy how Johnny and Nathaniel talked about it is called story time. And that's finding stories that you're aware of in your own native language and listening to them and reading them in the foreign language that you're trying to learn. So as I shared myself, uh, it was Super Mario and Luca in Italian and uh, I'm reading the Bible right now, and I'm reading on an app that provides the audio and the visual at the same time. And there's a real power in which you're reading the words and you're hearing native speakers speak uh, the language for you in, in a really clear and powerful way. So I find that's, a, that's just a great way to start to learn how the language is properly pronounced. Another tool that they say, which I'm doing as well, is keeping a journal. Um, being able to, at the end of the day, to write down what you did uh, in the foreign language. And you could present that journal during your lessons to get feedback. And also just for you to track of the development, because some days you feel like you're not improving at all. But if you look back on your journal a month or two months before, you say, oh, wow, you know, I actually have progressed, even though I don't feel like it right now. So keeping a journal can be another great way for you to track your progress and find uh, daily motivation and keep yourself accountable to learning a language. And just to summarize, one thing Nathaniel and Johnny mentioned that I think is really important to conclude is to be consistent. The way I see it now, it's no longer a sprint. It's a marathon all the way to heaven. That We're never gonna master this language, but we can enter more and more deeply into this language and as a result, interact with more and more people in deeper and more richer ways and as a result enter into new cultures in this beautiful world that God has made for us. And so I hope that with this in mind uh, you don't need to buy this program at all, uh, at least in my opinion, but you do need to fully immerse yourself in uh, the pursuit of learning a language and to find those daily sources of motivation. So this, this video series has become a motivation for me. I wanna immerse myself more and more in the Italian language. And I hope that you're inspired by this video too, for whatever language you're trying to learn, to just go fully in and know that this is not a sprint. This is a journey all the way to heaven. And may Almighty God bless you on this journey as you learn more and more languages. And may Jesus, the word of God, who knows every language perfectly inside and out, bless you and inspire you to enter more and more deeply into these beautiful languages that God has given us. Amen.